Hello everyone, we are now moving on to this module of the webinar which is methicillin resistance Staph aureus. We are all aware of what Staphylococcus is, Staphylococcus aureus is usually referred to as a gram positive cocci with about 0.5 to 0.7 micromillimeters strong tendency to form clusters as in a grape and of course you differentiate between strept hemolyticus, uh, streptococci hemolyticus by looking at uh, the catalase and this differentiates Staph aureus from the ca catalase negative streptococci and of course the coagulase negative and the coagulase positive differentiates between Staph epidermis and Staph aureus. Now basically in, uh, in Staph aureus what we look at two different types. One is the methicillin sensitive Staphylococcus aureus and of course the methicillin resistant uh, uh, Staph aureus which uh, there are two types of these and these are the community acquired uh, MRSA and of course the healthcare associated MRSA. Now how do you, uh, how do you differentiate uh, between these two categories and of course uh, what determines the resistance for these particular group of staph. But there is basically a MEC gene and the MEC gene is what determines uh, the, it, it determines or expresses the methicillin resistance that one encounters with these organisms. And of course, there is a structural component of the MEC gene and this is uh, called as the MEC A which encodes the penicillin B binding uh, 2A protein and of course, this uh, gives it the resistant uh, uh, to this particular organism. And when you look at, when you dissect it further, you will realize that there is a Staphylococcus chromosomal cassette uh, uh, MEC which is, uh, which there are three types in the uh, nosocomial or the healthcare associated uh, MRSA and of course, uh, the type 4 and type 5, the SEC MEC which is seen predominantly in the community acquired MRSA. Now what are the risk factors for MRSA in the hospital setting? In the hospital setting there are situations where you get colonization and subsequently infection because of uh, these uh, healthcare associated MRSA predominantly seen in advanced stage in patients. Uh,